Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Air Force Delta Strike. Um, we be doing standby missions now, so let's go. We've got an emergency. We can skip all this. It's always the same dialogue as before. Oh. I hear sirens outside, and I might have to cut that out. Anyways, we're using Ruth. And her shitty ass SC24. <laughs> oh, there might be some aces in this fight. Oh, this plane's so sluggish. Yep. Leon. And Giuseppe. Alright. I like how he I like how he talks like I'll get you Delta. He sounds like an anime villain that in an episodic like anime. He's like, you foiled me again, Delta. <laughs> Anyways, I shot him down pretty quickly. Oh, I think he took it out. Commander, are you okay? Leave the rest to me. Rod and your family will Come on, eat some base. of this, Leon. Damn it. Oh, oh, that missile is super tracking. That's awesome. Out of control. Had some ace combat qualms there. Steady aim and a cool head. Nah. Try this on for size, scum. Oh, all right. I did some more volunteering last weekend at the gem show. It was pretty fun. It was really fun just being able to, uh, you know, promote something that you love to people and just having them be wowed by what you explain to them and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Oh! What was that? You just hit me with a gun? Or did I shoot myself? God, I've never seen that before. What the hell happened there? Did he just shoot me with a gun? Huh. I'll make some fireworks oh, anyways. Me. Yeah, I did some more volunteering. It's pretty fun. I really like rocks. And I get, got the chance to just uh, look around at the show. Funny story, though. Um, I don't know if it was either because they just didn't have special passes for the volunteers. Or if... I failed to see the table that gives out the passes for the volunteers, but I like when I got in and I got directed to a table. I got directed to another table. So I couldn't find the table, but when I went through, the security guard just like pulled me to the side, was like, "Hey, you have a pass." But luckily, it all worked out because I told him because he uh, let me go when I told him I was a volunteer. Woohoo! It's kind of awkward when that happens, though. <laughs> I seem to be a, um, I seem to have a target on my head when it comes to awkward incidents like that, like, oh man, well this was totally my fault, but a few years back, I was flying out uh, to another location in my province, to another town, domestic flight for my job, and I was putting my, uh, uh, let's put my backpack through like the security check and I fucking and one of my backpack is like one of those fancy like hiking day packs it's just got like, compartments and slots everywhere Oop. and try this on for size scum I had a bottle of sunscreen, no and you know, you know, I'd have like containers like that on your uh, carry-on, and yeah, sorry, my brain just stopped for a second there. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so. Yeah, he was searching the bag because I had that stupid sunscreen. 
And I was also an idiot. I thought I'd put it into my suitcase, but I was also an idiot and I put my fucking... Uh, I put my fucking... Uh, Let's not give him anything else to be Fucking knife in the bag. Oh man. That was bad. <laughs> I'm just such a klutz when it comes to these things. I'm a bull in a china shop. I'm a dog chasing cars. I'm just pure chaos through my awkwardness. And inexperience in life. Uh, I hardly ever flown. I was like my first time flying without my family. But I was flying with my professor, who was my boss, as well as a grad student and I was helping out. <laughs> I was shadowing them. Uh, they were like... They, they were ahead of me. So they didn't realize what happened to me and they just kind of looked back and like, What happened to Coben? What's going on? But yeah, so I had the pocket knife. They, I was like really polite. I was like, oh shit. I fucked up. And the guy who was doing my thing was really nice. He was a young guy. Uh, he was quite nice about it uh, he let me actually mail that pocket knife back to my address so I didn't have to throw it out which is awesome and of course because I brought a knife on carry-on I would get selected on the quote-unquote random security check on the way back like doi it's not random at that point and I know exactly why you're checking me like don't even tell me it's random fair enough got through no problems Man, that was embarrassing though. The best part is there's this guy behind me. I like put my laptop through the screening. Uh, and way beyond you. I had I have a sticker on it that says like I love geoscience on it. It was like a promotional sticker for like a from like a table and a network or whatever. Um, Still have that sticker, but it was not a good sticker material, so it's just like super dilapidated by now. Uh, and yeah, he was like, "You love geoscience? What's geoscience?" And then when I got fucking pulled to the side for the security problem, my bag, he's like, "Uh oh, geoscience guy's in trouble." When he got in there, <laughs> like, "Oh, fuck. He's roasting me." <laughs> Oh well, it all worked out. Uh, the trip was pretty much Damn. fine afterwards. Um, it all worked out. I got paid. <laughs> that work I did like, later used to do my honors bar. thesis. It was all good. Um, <laughs> what a story though. Like, damn, I cringe a little, but it's funny. It's, it's definitely something that you should look back fondly at. Since it all worked out fine. The boy, oh boy. <laughs> I love myself. I'm just such a klutz. Um, that's half sarcasm, half genuine truth. Because on one hand, I used to hate how I would just screw things up like that. I would just kick myself all the time about it. It really put my self-esteem down. But later on, as I got older, I kind of kind of occurred to me that you know it's not worth doing that to yourself you know you just you gotta learn how to laugh at yourself you know we're gonna look at the operations room for a quick break here is the latest situation report operation raccoon hunt was planned based on more intel from for Tonikov. EDF, EDAF forces were able to stop the OCC's new anti-air weapons tests and force the OCC to pull out of the central region <laughs> entirely. When the EDAF learned that the OCC had been secretly moving troops up north, it was too late. The frail northern forces took a beating and were forced to retreat. Oh, well. A little bit of give and take, I guess. Uh, let's go to the meeting room. Nobody's here. Well, is anybody at the runway? Oh, this guy still? Damn it. I don't need to hear about your workout regime, bud. Okay, so... 
I don't know who these. I think there's another standby mission, but I don't know how to who to use at this point. We've got an emergency, Amelia. Actually, you know what? I know who to use. There's been an urgent telegram from HQ. Um, I'm gonna use Alex Levine. Good luck. Cause I need to get some more money so he can get access to better planes. Yeah, so I got a little bit sidetracked by that airplane story. But yeah, back to the gem show. So yeah, that guy pulled me over. It was fine. It's kind of weird though. Maybe there was actually a volunteer list that I was supposed to register with, but it didn't seem like it. And the last time I volunteered, like back in December, uh, there wasn't any. I just talked to the people in charge of handling the volunteers and all they did was tell me where the table was. So, well, whatever. And I wasn't the only person who got stopped by people um, at the front. Um, so, yeah. Well, whatever. Ooh, that missile almost hit me. Now, the problem with using this VTOL aircraft is I can't really use the air brake. That would really fuck up my flight. Uh, uh, this guy's trying to outrun me and I can't keep up. We got to attack Guess we gotta get this guy. Somebody's gotta do it. Don't do it to me. Yeah. That gem show was cool, though. Another funny story of being a klutz. I was during my break where I got a chance to just look around at the sh stuff at the show. I'm the kind of person like I love rocks. I love collecting rocks, but I'm not really the person to buy rock samples from these places. I prefer to find them on my own. Like I do have a hobby of just going out to places, like doing research, going out to places and just looking for these rocks. It's like treasure hunting. It's a lot of fun. Especially when you actually you, like, find something really nice. It's such a great feeling. Um, and... Yeah. Sorry, I got sidetracked again a little bit. Trying to give up the front? So... <laughs> Sorry, I got losing my mind. Uh, yeah. So I was looking for a gift, and I was looking at earrings, and I tried to flip them over. They're like hanging like quartz crystal earrings, and I was like trying to flip them over to see how much they cost. And they fucking fell out of the cardboard thing. And I was like, oh, put them back, put them back before anybody notices this. It's like, oh shit. Why am I so clumsy? Though, in all honesty, I had no way of knowing uh, that they were just going to fall on, right out, and I needed to turn them backwards to check the price on them. So, you know, not entirely my fault. Weapons, huh? Unless you could argue that it's my fault for being curious, then I guess uh, you got me there. Curiosity killed the cat. We can't let them just steamroll over us. Let's take him by surprise. Speaking of cats, my cat's hanging out with me right now. He's just laying down on the couch. Man, I love my cat. He's awesome. He's got diabetes. Oh man, I was really torn up at first when I first learned that. But he's doing really well. He's doing really well. He gets his insulin shots and he's... Other than that, he's, I'd say he's pretty healthy. Um, he's definitely happy. So that's that's a good thing. You know, no worries about putting him, having to put him down or anything. And hopefully his health will stay that way for a while. He is getting older now. He's like 11 years old, I think. Yeah, he's 11 years old. He's getting up there. I still love him. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Let's get out of here. 
This plane has no guns. You can't stop us. That's way beyond you. I love him anyways. He's a great cat. No damn OCC he likes to hang us. out with you. Just he likes to hang out with me just for the sake of when I heard Delta, hanging out. I was really expecting great things. Oh shut up! I ran out of missiles and I have no guns. Thanks anyway. Great cat. He never bites hard. He never scratches hard. So because he's so nice, I have like a ground rule where if he hisses, I, for whatever reason, you put him down. You stop bugging him. You know, I don't want him to become a mean cat. I want him to know that his voice has value. Alright. Not really anything great to choose from so far. Well... The A5 actually probably is an improvement over the uh, the T58, but oh, it doesn't have any guns. Son of a bitch. Uh, I need a better VTOL. All right. Uh, woo, woo, woo. All right, let's continue onwards. See if we have another standby mission. Yeah, he's a really sweet cat. I love him. He's a little, he's a little tuxedo. <laughs> well, he's pretty we big now. We have an emergency kind communication from HQ. Amelia, there's going to wait. That's pretty much it. Man, but if we don't send somebody, all right. Oh well, but got it. Thanks a lot. This is top. Go get him. Oh, who am I going to use this time? Rick, I guess? Let's use Rick. Uh, yeah, it'd be worth using Rick another time. Uh, I was really torn up when he got diabetes at first, like when we first learned about it. But, you know, it turns out... Diabetes in cats is super genetic, so there wasn't really, there wouldn't have, whoa, bombers, there wouldn't have been much we could have done about it. So that gives me a bit of comfort, and he's doing really well. When he started out, he was actually starting to get a bit of diabetic paralysis in his foot. Which basically means he was getting nerve damage in his foot and he couldn't use it very well. But with following the insulin treatments and me personally like making him like like playing with him and making him run around and encouraging him to jump and basically use his feet. His feet have recovered. They've gotten a lot stronger. It's awesome. Like he's pretty much back to the way he was. Minus the fact that he needs insulin injections. And Giving him the injections is super easy. Like the needle goes in through his skin really quickly, or really easily, and uh, it doesn't hurt him. Like he doesn't bother him. We always give him treats. We always give him treats before shots. So now he's actually associated with. Sh uh, the shots with trees, so he actually likes. He gets happy and excited when he sees the needle now. Good old Pavlov. Oh, I took some hits there. You can't stop us. I might have to actually leave. Let's try to get some. Let's give it some. I think I need to leave. Pretty soon. I got a bitch out of here. My bad. Avoiding missiles in this game is rough. You really got to keep your speed up. We can't let them just steamroll over us. Take some deep breaths before. Come on. There we go. Uh oh. You can't step me. Come on, prove your worth, your thing. I'm like really in the middle of the hornet's nest here. I think two missiles are enough to kill me. Take a while. Or maybe not. I might be able to survive. Look, I'm 
shaking with excitement. Punishment to the resistance. Oh, come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Attack the enemy with that confused. No way we're gonna lose the EDAM. Okay, there we go. And you man, stay there. I can tell my assault here will give us the advantage. Alright, it's working out well for me. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Ain't no dummies in my unit. I'm getting pretty low on ammo too. I don't care what you have to do, just show me some spirit. Faith is what the force do. Hold out. Alright, got him. Too. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Our time has come at last. I think they just shot down those allied bombers. <laughs> Alright, it's good. We're the advance guard of a new era. He who shoots first wins. The guns on this thing are pretty We're cool too, they're like right time. on the bottom. They aren't having an easy time either. I love that logic. If we're having a hard time, they're having a hard time too. Oh. Are you sure it's just not Are you sure it's not just that they're get you're getting your asses kicked? Advance, we can't retreat now. Sips tea. But that none of my business. You're the advanced guy. Pride of the OCC. I'll make some fireworks for you, baby. This is an endurance contest. Here we go! Ooh, I ran out of missiles. No Alright, it's time for guns. You know, if he decides to stop trying to outrun me. To be happy about. I wanna go home a hero. They're all a bunch of weak knee cows! Shit. Oh, uh, this guy's gonna hit me with missiles too. Here they come. Don't stop. There's no time for breaks. It's risky slowing down. Oh, that guy's coming right behind me. Dig it, group. You're the advance guard. I don't want to lose this guy. Come on. Keep that up. You're too slow. Get the lead out. The tide can turn at any moment. I don't care what you yeah, I got him. Just show me some spirit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I can tell my assault here will give us the advantage. Somebody's gotta do it. Yeah. Victory to me, and hopefully there's a sweet new plane I can buy too. Whoa! What's wait a minute? There's this weird feature in the map. It looks like a base. What's this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Show me some spirit. Uh, well, I don't see anything. Let's get out of here. Just let us at him, and we'll tear him a new one. Oh, I think I saw a bit of an, a runway. Pray it helps him hit the mark. The enemy is confused. You know what? I think this is the, the, better the weapon, same the map as the that. Uh, one of the story missions that we haven't played Good yet. Job. Troop Delta style. Lead the rest of the okay, I think that's the last standby mission that for this. And now we can move on to like a real mission. Oh, I got quite a bit. Noise. What can I buy here? Oh, nice. The SU-37. <laughs> Booyah. 
and uh, F111 is pretty cool too. All right, let's get it. This will be useful to me later. May as well get this special weapon for it too. Yeah, fuck yeah, I want to buy those monsters. Look at the size of those missiles. All right, let's go. I like how for all the other characters, like, we're struggling to unlock good planes and all of a sudden Rick Campbell has an SU-37. All right, here we go. Uh, Crap, I won't be able to do the mission with Ruth with a good plane. Oh well. What should I do first? Iceberg, I guess. This mission is a bit. We're facing some tough In fact, this time. Amelia will give us the si Yes, sir. Our weather research vessel. I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip through all this because I wanna go back and save. There we go. I just want to fall back. I want something to fall back on in case I fail that mission. All right. Uh, see if anybody knows in the meeting room. We have a major problem with pilot casualties in every area. New recruits are being shot down left and right. Their training time is cut drastically in favor of this new intensive curriculum. All they learn is takeoffs and landings. Oh boy. They can fly, sure, but they're shot down as soon as they get into the skirmish. Into a skirmish. Why haven't the head honchos noticed this? If this keeps up, our army will shrink down to nothing in no time. Yeah, that's not good. Phew. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Running, of course. In school, they told us that it was important to build a basic basic body strength. Well, yeah. Right now, I'm just running around the base. Then I'll do some bodybuilding. I want to be r rock solid. If your body's resistant to G-forces, you should be able to really give them hell up, uh, up in a fighter jet. After all, I'd love to be able to shoot down some of the OCC's planes. I'll do my absolute best. Fly a ground attacker, man. All right. Let's do some iceberg. This time I'll let the. Uh, this time I'll let the briefing go through. We're facing some tough opponents this time. Amelia will give us the sit rep, and Lilia will outline our strategy. Yes, sir. Our weather research vessel spotted an enemy fleet in the polar region. Here are your orders. Second element, move out at once. Oh, my cat wants to hang out. Cooperate with the other units to destroy the enemy fleet. That is all. It looks like they're trying to outflank us. I think they're planning on coming through a relatively undefended area for a direct ground assault. No way! That's not cool at all! That's right. It's not cool. <laughs> That's why you'd better not slip up. If you let even a single one of them out of that area, the mission is a bust. That's one hell Except of a one ship wouldn't be able to do too much. You can say that again. Now get out there and take a good look around. Look around? What do you mean? Just what I said. Look. The fleet is well camouflaged and won't be easy to spot. So they might be disguised as friendly merchant ships, say? No. They're disguised as a huge ice flow. Yep. Iceberg You're ships. Kidding. How do you pretend to be ice? We've seen periscopes, so they're probably subs. Big, low slung, with ice stuck all over them. Ah, I see. This is a joint exercise with our carriers. 
So first we have to find the bad guys, right? That's right. There's a patrol ship carefully checking out each ice floe. With your help, we'll find the fleet in no time. Now get out there and sink that fleet. Otherwise, they'll be coming into our territory. Oh man, my cat is Don't crawling all over me. You. you might knock the mic over. Oh, Sherpa, you're digging your claws into my knees! You idiot cat! He just fell and he just dug his claws into my thighs. Got it? <laughs> knees and thighs. Head and shoulders, Roger. knees and toes, knees and toes. Alright, time to move out. Sniff out that fleet and blast him to hell. Let's do it. All right. Um, I'm going to hope Holst has some good aircraft that I can buy. But do not want to use do not want to use the F-105 in this mission. Yeah, Tornado GR-1. Let's do it. Look how much money I have. Boom. I'm just rolling in the dough. All right. Tornado. And we'll buy a special weapon. Anti-ground missile. <laughs> Time to take off. All right, here we go. I don't know where Sherpa went. Oh, I see him now. He's screwing around with my mouse. Computer mouse. All right, here we go. We gotta, we gotta do this pretty quickly. They're disguised as ice flows. Fly with caution. So, the may as well get this guy who's Don't attack them. You can just chilling on the way there. The yeah, and there's these weird missile things. And bombs, too. Um, I can't remember if I can kill this part at the top. But I hope I can. Oh, it's got real missiles too. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and there's Sergey. Just chilling. He's an optional target. I'll put one in. Alright. Let's get this target. We want to get the ones furthest across the map first. Yeah, yeah, he's the closest, so. Gotta make sure. Now Delta's got respect. Alright. There's so many hazards that these ships fly at, fire at us. Epsilon two here. What's with that huge ice flow? Well, that can't be natural. <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy sounds like fucking uh. Mr. Mackey or whatever his name is from South Park. Okay. Just do your best to stay alive, okay? So we can just leave the naval stuff up to you. Oh no, really. Alright. Don't be so modest. Smash him down for us. Damn it. Enemy approaching. What's going on with the anti-aircraft guys? Epsilon 3 here. Here I come. The target Let's do this. Enemy approaching. No. What's going on with the anti-aircraft guys? Yeah, I got him before he sunk and like submerged that part. Alright, okay. Have everyone evacuate. Now we got this guy to take out. Honestly, that guy was like the most wily one. Man, I love that voice acting. Epsilon 2 here! Okay! 
Ooh, I'm not really close to these guys with Sam's and shit. We can't let him just steamroll over us. Damn it, I didn't get it. Son of a bitch. Jackie, you have to make more of an effort too. What are you trying to say, Maverick? Bring a little extra something to the battlefield. That voice, that guy's got a great voice too. Are you nuts? For someone like you, who would bother? But that voice of yours is a total crime. <laughs> so true. Where do you guys think you'd be without me? <laughs> Roasting his voice. Some of these missions just have amazing dialogue. Oh man! The enemy is attacking. All right, got that ship. Captain, the ship's about to sink. Captain always goes down with his ship. Oh nice, that dedication. Where the person like serving the captain sounds like a lolly. Is this Sergey? Nope, it's an SC-24. Um, I gotta take out these ships because they're gonna lob missiles at me. Can't have that while I'm dealing with this ship here. Uh, crap. There we go. Uh, I'm not lined up properly. Here we go. This ought to do it. Yeah, that guy's voice is a war crime. <laughs> oh, crap. Air brakes off. There we go. Had him on for a little bit too long. Okay, one more ship left. We got this. I used to have so much trouble with this mission, honestly. A lot of the missions in the game, like the tornado mission, I didn't know what to do for that for the longest time. They don't really uh, tell you what to do in, in this game. The directions aren't very uh, uh, detailed. Damn, I took a heat. Right now, Sergei is flying an SC-32. I don't really know why he would choose that as a dogfighter. So, whatever floats his boat, I guess. The enemy ace has a r aces. A lot of them have a really weird choice in aircraft. It's a hit. Like the fact that Giuseppe's no first plane is a fucking has been eliminated. Um, Make 17. And then he flies an SC 25 later on. Oh, yeah. That was great. Got a decent amount of credits from that. Okay. On to the debriefing. Phew. You look tired, friend. Oh, Harry? What do you want to sell me this time? Hold on a minute. You're more than a customer to me. I'm actually worried about you, so today I came as a friend. Don't throw around words like friend unless you really mean it. Now spit it out. Why are you worried about me? Are you earning enough money? Yeah, I did pretty well today, and I lived... I lived to fly another day. How is your daughter? She seems well enough, at least from what I can tell by her letters. Oh, and Harry, I need you to send her a wire transfer. Why, of course, my good friend. Lead! Brian, eavesdropping doesn't become a soldier. I'm sorry, I was just on the way back to my room, and what's this about a wire transfer lead? Kid, you shouldn't poke around in other people's business. Surely you've learned that much by now. 
Yes, I know, but... It's my daughter. Your daughter? You mean somebody you're looking after for a fallen comrade? No, my real daughter. I lost custody when I was divorced. I have to send money to support her. Lead, is that why you joined the Delta Squadron? I fight to protect the daughter who writes to me every mo month. And the wife I loved. The money? It's just a bonus, so... What about you, Brian? What? Me? Yeah, why do you fight? To become the next emperor? Or are you fighting to pr protect something? Once you figure that out, you'll be as good as me in no time. Heck, you'll probably go beyond me. Beyond you? Give it some thought, Brian. Harry, be sure and make that wire transfer. You betcha. See you later now. Hmm? What is it, kid? You thinking about what Holes told you? Yes. Well, if he's made you confused, then he's done his job. It's the confusion that leads to growth. Yes, sir. I'll give this all some serious thought. You go and do that, then. I won't charge you for the advice. Just put a good word in for me with you with your friends. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. My, is he ever young? Oh, OCC. Phew. Commander. Oh, Albert. I managed to make it back alive. I heard the Bellaway fleet was hit. Was Pale Blue involved? No, it was a different squadron. That even included new recruits. They seem to be struggling just to fill in the ranks. New recruits? The Belloway fleet was assaulted by a squadron that had novices in its ranks? Yes. That EDAF is something else. The Belloway fleet was nearly unbreakable. I don't know where they get their talent. I had thought that the only real threat was that living legend Jamie Jones. <laughs> the guy who flies pipe uh, prop planes. I heard that Jamie gets as much respect as you, Commander. Then there's that pilot in the pale blue jet. By this time, they should be reaching their breaking point, but somehow they continue fighting. Wow, I like how the the is in, it's the instead of they. They fight to defend their beliefs and to protect the ones they love. The same reasons that any soldier has for fighting. Reasons for fighting? We're just the same. We can't allow our comrades to suffer forever, so we must fight to raise the status of people. With Belloway sunk, our navy has lost its main fleet. It is our duty to avenge this loss. Yes, sir. Okay, Albert. I think it's about time to hand out the reward we received to our comrades. Understood, Commander. Let's go. New plane, huh? Let's go check it out. What did we get? Oh, just a Jaguar? I've got the tornado already, it's better. Okay. That will be this episode of Let's Play Air Force Delta Strike.